have okay. guests, guys. I'm okay. sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from the Netherlands, right? Yeah. yeah. Originally from Suriname. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Suriname. Yeah. 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 Wow. Never heard of it. I, yeah. I, I, I've seen the name, but I was like, wow, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's a small island, right? No, no it's no, a country. It's, it's, it's a, a, it's a, it's a, a size of, like for France. No, it's a little By the bit size smaller. of France? Yes. A little bit smaller. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So it's yeah. huge then. Uh, 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 half a million. Half a million people? So half a million? Yeah, half and, wow. and, and, and the half is, is uh, in the half. You know. yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, is is what what is Sierra known known for? Is there like an export crop, like sugar? Uh, or? Uh, yeah, mostly uh, rice, I think. Rice. Plantain also. Plantain. Uh, yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah, good food. I think uh, like as as uh, like uh, not to brag, but I think we have the best <laughs> food in uh, South America. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What are some of the dishes? Um, so Suriname is an interesting country. So because. You have the native population, like uh, Indian, uh, like uh, native population, mm -hmm. and like two mm -hmm. tribes, and then uh, black people came um, because of the, so the right. Spanish first, the Portuguese, and later that the Dutch. Again. That uh, shows uh, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh so, my God. <laughs> so Suriname used to be a Dutch colony. A Dutch. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's also the language, but then after slavery ended, uh, basically what they did is they they fired all the slaves. Lots of them okay. died of starvation, but then they, they fired got, them. Yeah, just. Yeah. Le yeah, left them and that of starvation yeah wow. most of them but then then uh, people came they, they got people from india mm -hmm. and from indonesia and from china to basically do the slave labor instead of the slaves wow. and then they got land and they got paid and stuff but um just like they've done us everywhere else yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and they try to try to like create an apartheid system but it failed luckily and then mm. now what we have in Suriname is like uh, like a cultural blend of all cultures mm -hmm. and then we have the kitchen like the cuisine of all the cultures really? so that's why we have the best wow. food <laughs> does, 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 does the president look like us uh, uh no he used not, to. not now he used to yeah. he's just Indian, like Indian. 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 Yeah, yeah. like indian yeah, from like india. maritania yeah, the, the, like maritania and no, south no, africa no 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 it's india. like indian india from india like yeah the, that's what i'm saying yeah. they, they import the indians yes and yes. instead of us you know yes. yeah, 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 yeah you know taking control and the dutch right wow Right, because that's what happened in Mauritania. Now, Mauritania is on the African continent, but the president happens to be an Indian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did that Indian come from? Yeah, yeah. He got brought in to replace African oh, labor. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that's the little trick that they do yeah, everywhere. They, 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 they touch, they, hmm? they touch well, the so, so. That's yeah, crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Just like in South yeah. Africa. Yeah. Ja, in Japan hebben we ook voor ons gevoel gemaakt. Zijn. We liggen op de weg van Dubai, van Nederland en New York. Oh ja, so basically one of the interesting things is that you, the Dutch used to uh, own New York, right? Uh -huh. And um, then the English, they used uh, to own Suriname, I think for 17 years. And then the Dutch and the English, they fought a war, they captured uh, Suriname yeah. and um, basically uh, the English took it back but they really oh, wanted to have Suriname yeah, mm -hmm. so they traded yeah. New York oh, for Suriname. Yeah. Really? So that's, yeah. yeah, that's one of the stories <laughs> of Suriname. Yeah. New York, New York? Like New York. <laughs> yeah, trade yeah. New York for... Yeah, wow. It's, it used to be called the New Amsterdam. Yeah. And then, uh, they traded it and then the English named it New York. So wow. That's, uh, yeah, that's a bit of the history. Ain't that something? Yeah. All connected. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> something else. Well, huh? well, let me ask you, what brings you guys to the Gambia from the Netherlands? Yeah, my um, dad, actually. Yeah, uh, two, uh, two, two years ago, I came and I said, I'm not here. Your family is from here? No, no, no. no a plot, uh, he bought a plot, so last oh, year? Oh, okay. Last yeah. year. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, um, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll do the Dad don't want to talk too much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem, go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. So, uh, last year, uh, my uh, my uh, dad uh, came here with my mother to, uh, yeah, basically look for a plot of land uh, to settle in Africa. Um, Suriname would also be possible, but it's like a little bit tough with economic situation and also a little right. bit of unrest. So, uh, There's got, unrest there? Yeah, a little bit because of uh, economic crisis and then um, crazy precedent. Yeah, okay, got you. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more, no problem. <laughs> but then, uh, so they, they thought, well, maybe uh, come to Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think lots of 
black uh, Surinamese people, they uh, always want to go to Ghana because that's like uh, the, the, all, the the country that they all claim to be from. Yeah, everybody, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one place. <laughs> but, wow. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so that, that, then, uh, what is dad speaking to you? Dutch. Yeah, say, okay. say it again. Because when it's I'm real listening, long, though. I'm like, this ain't English that he's saying to yeah, him. That, that, so you guys speak Dutch. So yeah, yeah we speak Dutch, but do you know, do, I'm gonna try some Dutch, okay? Okay. Hordy Morgan. Yes. That was okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hordy yeah. yeah. That's good too. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, Don't so, get that uh, off me. <laughs> Not just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. So uh, um, we we speak Dutch, but huh? we also speak Surinamese, which uh -huh. is like uh, it's like Africanized English. Creole. Is yeah, it? Creole language. Oh, okay. And, uh, so Timi uh, Takmi Tongo, Kande I Kan Verstaan Sami Taki. Kind of sound like almost oh. Vietnamese. Yeah, that sounds Vietnamese, like uh, Oriental. Like. <laughs> yes. My my accent's a little bit Dutch, but uh, okay. Maybe you can. Uh, <laughs> do so, it better. How, how long were you guys in the Netherlands? Uh, They're still there. I was born and raised there. Oh, born and raised there? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I thought like maybe, you know, left uh, uh, Suriname no, no. and moved to the Netherlands. So, that was him. Uh, First generation, second generation. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I got I, it. Man. I was uh, nine when I um, we moved to, to Holland. Okay. All right. And, uh, so, have you guys been successful? You have bought your plot, right? Uh, yeah, we have bought a plot uh, around Gunjur. Bantukuku? Gunjur. Gunjur. Yeah. Gunjur. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're not too it's far not far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good thing. And also, uh, we tried to buy a plot of land in Busura, but. Um, that yeah, uh, was not uh, <laughs> too expensive. No, no Bruzra. Bruzra. <laughs> oh, okay. That's so, where uh, the yeah, flex yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, so I didn't want to say the name. <laughs> <laughs> but, Did you guys have contact with a buy from her? Uh, yeah, we, we bought from her, oh. um, but um, apparently the, they never bought the land that we bought. So uh, <laughs> that, that's what something that we found. They just. Yesterday. But y'all got your refund, right? No. That's what I did. <laughs> was, was that Dutch or English? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. No, no, no. no wow. It's, it's, it's a, with uh, the. And, um, and, uh, who, and, uh, yeah, so we're looking at it, at it with, uh, with the lawyer. Okay. But, yeah. yeah, it's like a, it was a really small piece of land. I'm yeah. not even sure if. Uh, gotcha. Wow. If can, gotcha. Uh, but either yeah. way it goes, it's your money, right? Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. So are you guys uh, farmers? Or what do you guys plan on doing when you come here just retire? And that's it? Uh, no, yeah. my, my son is, is the one that... <laughs> <laughs> he put it so, on son. Yeah, he out the uh, idea. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so, so are you farmers? I mean, you know... So, no, not yet. So, but, yeah, 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 what, what yeah, so... Mean? He sounded uh, like from, Rick. I'm going to say this, but I want you to say it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so, um, by trade, I'm... Uh, so, I, I study economics and then econometrics uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So, you're then, an economist. Yeah, 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 and then also uh, I went into programming and, and um, like uh, stuff like machine learning AI uh, and, and, and that's, that type of things. So uh, that's what I'm currently working as. It's basically an like easy business that they can uh, operate in the Gambia. And uh, we, tried that, we, we tried to look at different things. First was um, uh, peanut oil production. Good for you, um, good for you. Yeah, so that, that was uh, that was the thing, but uh, because that it was possible to uh, get uh, some machines from India and then bring them here. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we were told is that in the Gambia, peanuts is kind of like, they call it a political crop in the sense that it's like uh, heavily subsidized. And then, really? Yeah. So then. Who told you that? Was uh, the lawyer told us that it's no uh, problem? No problem. I mean, wow. This it's, is the first time I've heard of it. Yeah. Though, you know. Yeah. So he said. He said it's like uh, because of that. Then uh, it might. It could be that the price that uh, of um, like the, the price that you sell it at might be too high for local markets. So that's kind of something that we have to look oh, at. Okay. Um, also, with the, they have this uh, disease for the the peanuts. They have the, what's called aflatoxin. So uh, that's that makes the peanuts a little bit uh, bad quality. So that's something that we were looking at, but now we're looking maybe into um, animal husband, husbandry. Mm. So that could be uh, the sheep, the, the famous ladum sheep. That right. they have. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're looking into that, uh, seeing uh, yeah what what possible in, uh, in Gambia. Yeah.
So it's, it's, it's plenty of opportunities here now. I mean, not uh, just what you mentioned, but I mean, it's like the gambit. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever idea you want to do, I mean, it's, it's available, you know. Uh, the only thing I would say, whatever you decide to do, focus on uh, uh, customer service because that's really lacking here. Mm -hmm. So whatever you decide to do, you have customer service, you go to the top of the line and stuff, you know. Wow. Now, uh, what we like is uh, farming because everything is imported. Yeah. yeah. And so we say, hey, if we can grow mm -hmm. whatever they're importing yeah. and stuff, you know, then we'll make a little bit of money and stuff. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so yeah. one of the things, too, that y'all, I like to say, y'all might be able to look into, I know we plan on looking into, is animal feed. Yeah. Everything ah, okay. is imported. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's like they got something in the Gambia that's called, uh, uh, what is it? Sheep biscuit or something, but it's for, it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's something that they have in the Gambia, you know, it comes from the peanut husk. Oh, the, the you know? peanut oil cake. Something cake. Groundnut cake. Groundnut cake, cake is, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah. That is it, groundnut cake. Yeah. And so the Senegalese come here and buy it up from the Gambia, take it to Senegalese, mm -hmm. Senegal rather, yeah. process it, and guess who they sell it back to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right back to Gambia. Yeah. So I was like, why we can't do that here? Yeah. You understand? Right. When, I, when I hear things like that and see things like that, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I don't care who's been here longer than I have. If they yeah. refuse to focus on that opportunity, yeah. I'll take advantage of it, but it's ground nut cake. Yeah. Gambia is more than capable of producing animal feed for the uh, for the animals, but mm -hmm. yeah. just want to sell the resource, the, the natural resource, and people add on to it and bring it back, like the cashew. Yeah. So many cashew trees that y'all pass on the way here. Mm -hmm. Why is there no cashew producing plant here? Mm -hmm. You know, you've got Indians. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That come in with the 40 foot trailers, yeah. 10 of them, taking the cashews out, taking them to India. Mm -hmm. And guess what they do? Package it and sell it right back to Gambia. Yeah. And I was like, come on now, yeah. I'll do that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, hey, uh, it might take a little while cause you know we funded it out of pocket, but yeah. still these are opportunities where you can create jobs right here in the Gambia yeah. instead of shipping jobs somewhere else, you know? Yeah. And that's just, a couple of items that I've mentioned, it's across the gamut. Yeah. Everything. Gotta importing keep rice. Something here. Importing yeah. rice. Yeah. yeah, import rice. All that land up up river. Just I mean, just acres, hectares and hectares. Yeah. Importing yeah. rice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everything. So I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Take I'll take note of it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Be be my dying breath. Still trying to do it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> take it import it. I can produce it, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. uh, again, uh, it's wide open. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you ask the Gambians, say, hey, why don't y'all do this? You know, they, they come up with excuses and say, well, you know, we don't have money. I say, here's a million. I'll see you in five years. Yeah. Come back, guess what that million? It ain't go, it ain't, it ain't go toward what we were talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. It went somewhere else, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, so the, and, uh, it's wide open. And because you, you have a, a lot of uh, uh, experience, experience yes? mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that's what I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, I, it's, it's wide open, though. You know because, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I, I deeply and, uh, how, how is the, 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 the process for food? Food processing? No, no for, for uh, setting up a business. Yes, yeah, so setting up a business. Like, uh, how, what does the process look like? In well, you, you got to get your uh, uh, TN number. number. That's a, a TIN number. TIN, tax mm -hmm. identification number. Okay. And then just basically as simple as going down there and applying for a license. Yeah. Okay. Get your license and guess what? You off and running. Yeah. Ah. And the okay. TIN number is free. Yeah. It's a number that the, the, the country gives out to each and every individual here mm -hmm. who's working or uh, producing something in the Gambia or when you, you want to open account. up a bank account, mm -hmm. you use it to do that. That's mm -hmm. all you need. It's a exactly T N right. number. It's T I N number. You tax yeah. identification number. You go to G R A. And, and no. You should know. The tax you should know where G R A is at. Yeah. Yes, it's by the one across from the stadium. Mm -hmm. Ah okay. It's, no, it's here in, in the Gambia. It's yeah, in uh, you can have it even at the hotel areas. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, take, it, it's a real easy process to yeah, get it. Yeah. Or you go and up then, there and make sure you take your uh, passport. Yeah. And you have a your couple pass. of copies too. Yeah. Well, they don't need need the copy. Just, it's not that. in the ten number. Oh, I'm okay. not in that place. Okay. You just take your uh, passport. Let them know that you're there to get a ten number. They're gonna okay. give you a form. You're gonna fill out all the film. It's not a lot. Okay. Just about this much on top your name and whatever you where you're staying then they're gonna go back and type it up and give yeah, you a okay. 10 number normally they give it to you right within that same day uh -huh. yeah okay, yeah and, and, and also uh, for some reason or another there's a large number of the African diaspora that's coming to the Gambia mm -hmm. and so our taste buds are somewhat different than the Gambians yeah. Yeah. and so I would say broaden your focus and say hey you know uh what is it that we can sell or manufacture that would help the diaspora like for example in the gambia nobody's well, wait, growing I'm collard greens have y'all heard of collard greens well, well, well in, in, in america that's what we eat collard greens okay. mm -hmm. a lot of collard greens oh, okay. and so, so i guess i'm supposed to uh, pay for that. when we came here Nobody was selling collard greens. Oh, yeah. And so that's one of the things we grow right there. You can yeah, see the yeah, collard greens. Yeah, yeah. And the kale. Yeah. Yeah. The kale. I'll just give it tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to drop it off and give it tomorrow. Okay. This is the team number. Yep, yes, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm not sure if you can go to the one at the turntable. Yeah. You can apply for it over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can, yeah. Well, oh, he okay. don't have to go all the way to, to the uh, right. stadium. Yeah, the one at the turntable. Okay. It's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think they close that. at four o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's not hard to do you, you, as long as you got passport. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised they was able to buy land without a ten though. That's why they no. I mean, didn't you say y'all bought land? Yeah, with, uh, yeah. I thought they asked for that ten. Don't number. they ask for that when you no. buy? No, at the land, no. No, because we bought it, we didn't have it, did we? I no. thought I thought they. No, asked we for always the had the ten number because yeah. oh, we got okay. in 2015. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought they asked for they that. They asked me for it, so I don't maybe, know. Maybe as a foreigner, they will ask a team number. But for us, we didn't ask a team number. Right, okay. Because me, well, the one I buy, they didn't ask me a team number. Right, but you're a Gambian, yeah, see. Only, only the uh, one day. You bought, the, you bought the land for them or something? No, no. For yourself? For myself. So, so, But you're a Gambian, so they wouldn't ask for a tax identification number, would they? Oh, no. Me, the one they asked just... Um, to have uh, my national identity card. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I remember yeah. them asking us for yeah. it. Yeah, I remember yeah. them asking us for that too. But if y'all bought land and didn't have to produce that, then y'all good though. You know. I just know maybe the you, rules have changed. When you do have to go and open a bank account, you will need that ten number. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And I guess they probably figured, you know, he can bring it later for the um, mm -hmm. uh, if everything is legit. Right. You know, with the land deal, yeah, I guess, because you will sense. need that because you have to pay taxes on your land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 you definitely have to pay taxes on your land. Tomorrow, they get the papers and uh, go straight to the um, the, uh, the lawyer. lawyer. The, yeah. yeah, we have well, a lawyer. So, so y'all operating through a lawyer? Well, not really. It's like uh, last time uh, because of the the, the trouble that with we Blacks had. That, uh, yeah, that's why we asked the lawyer to look at the papers yeah. and verify. Yes. I would have too. It would have been my first experience. So he yeah. looked at that one for you? Yeah, he looked yeah. at the And he found out it wasn't right. he found out that yeah. it was wow. never purchased. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. I'm sorry that happened to yeah. you. But that yeah. happened yeah. to so many so people. So many people. Yeah. 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 So yeah. the new one, it's okay then? Yeah, the new yeah. one is okay. I think yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. But still, we will check it out. Exactly. get your money back. get your money back. And also... Depending on what time you leave, you can go and apply for that ten number. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't close till four, I believe. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Four yeah. o'clock. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take that long. Like it probably while you maybe. wait or next day. No, normally I know when I go to the one over here at the by the stadium, ten minutes, okay. with at the most. Okay. That I've waited, mm -hmm. and it put it like this: thirty minutes if you want to, you know, get technical. Just mm -hmm. go in there, give me a paper, fill out everything. They go behind and type it up. Then they call you and say, "Here it is." Ah, okay. So it's not it's not long at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. perfect. Doug, make sure they weld the bar in there. Okay, that's cool. I'm sorry about that. It's my son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we'll be out here. Uh, at, we've been in the next month. We've been in the Gammy for seven years. Ah, okay. For seven years, we've been here that long. And uh, this month on the 21st, we'll move to that house back there. I don't know if you can see it from here. We we'll moved to the house back there, so oh, we, we yeah we bought the land in 2018, mm -hmm. 
And so we ran into some. Yeah, I, I, I see, see, see this. Yeah, so we had our problems too. Yeah. We had our problems too. <laughs> many, problems many too. problems. So, but, but finally, I mean, it's, it's well worth it. We finally moved mm -hmm. to the land next month. Yeah. And um, that's good for us. Yeah. You know, that's when we say we really start living. Because mm -hmm. now we'll be off grid and everything will be up to us. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. right now we travel back and forth about like, a, you saw how long it is to get here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. About an hour here and about an hour yeah. back. And then the, the petrol, that's expensive, you know what I'm saying? Very expensive. So, so that's why we said, man, we'd be glad when we move out here so we can sort of accelerate this and stuff. Okay. Because I'm, even though farming is not my background, mm -hmm. I want to get heavy into that because it's, it's continent-wide. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all, all the land on the African mm -hmm. continent, yet we still import. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So if you could just... You don't have to be greedy. If you just make a dent in that, like just get you like 1% of it or 2%, yeah, yeah, yeah. you set. Yeah. You set. So, uh, is this my, your... My, all your, 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 your is for local? No. Yeah, just for, for local. local. That's my priority. Feed Gambia first. If I got anything else left, okay. feed it to the rest of the African continent. If something left after that, then we feed the poor countries like America, France, Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything is left over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause right now we got it backwards. Yeah. You know, we make yeah. something. First thing we want to do, is ship it out of here. Hey, I would like to have that. You know what I'm saying? We will, we will give, give, give uh, eight. <laughs> that's it. Give him an eight and stuff. Yeah. So, so that's what we say. But with the computers, though, you that that is a great feel because that's the future, and I highly recommend maybe you know a consultant. You know, mm -hmm. I can come in and fix your system or advise you or consult mm -hmm. and do it that way. You know, because yeah, uh, okay. a lot of people come here looking for a job, but we say yeah, make your own job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make your own job. Mm -hmm. So I kind of encourage you to look at consulting, mm -hmm. you know, doing that there and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You write your own meal ticket. Hey, 25000 you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Consultation. You know, one hour, mm -hmm. five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pay it or suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so look at that right there and stuff. If you want to pursue that, since you went to school for yeah. that and stuff. But mm -hmm. I didn't mean to cut you off. You get ready to say something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Because no. yeah. I'm thinking. I mean, you know, I, I listen to what y'all say, and then I shoot out ideas because mm -hmm. we've been here for seven years. Mm -hmm. But yeah. again, everything is open. Yeah. Everything yeah. is open, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just, it's like yeah. just you hadn't opened that, up. That's why. That's why I, I choose uh, uh, Gambia. Yes. Because every every go go down. Yes. Gambia. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. And, and, the and, opportunity. And, and, and Gambia is developing, and, and your money stretch. Yeah. yeah. Your money stretch. So yeah. so good idea. Yeah. That's why we picked it. Yeah. 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 But um, I I I had some uh, some questions about. Uh, like uh, our plans it's like so we were thinking of uh, maybe starting something with uh, with the ladum sheep that they have the really big ones yes. mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, starting a, maybe start, starting a farm um, but so for that you need to buy a plot of land like agricultural land. right mm -hmm. like, uh, I was looking at maybe like 100 by 100 but what is like what are the things that we need to like pay to pay attention to? When buying such a plot. when you buy a, a piece of land, first of all, I like to interject: get it for as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because expenses, everybody got to focus on expenses, and make sure the land is inhabitable. You don't want to get some area that floods out. Now, during the rainy season, certain parts out here hold water, mm -hmm. and certain areas don't. So you don't want to get an area that's completely submerged water. in water yeah. because we have yeah, yeah, yeah we have some people that have bought land when it rains nothing but water out there you can't i mean it's can't like it's flood it's a flood area you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so they got tricks so next month is rainy season i don't know if you're gonna be here that long but any piece of land you got you get to look at it during rainy season mm -hmm. and see if it'll flood or not now we're in a unique position because the water goes like this right here headed that way. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't sit yeah. here that long. Mm -hmm. It always flows that way. Mm -hmm. But again, okay. certain areas do hold water and certain areas don't. So yeah. we, we're working around that and stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
So so make sure that it's, it's arable uh, and uh, you can plant stuff on it. Because mm -hmm. when we bought this, this used to be just the uh, rice fields. And so when we bought it, there was like nothing to grow here but just rice. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna listen to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we started planting tomatoes, watermelon, corn, Bisside, eggplant, it just comes up. Yeah. collard greens, <laughs> it did. pineapples, <laughs> you know, just everything we plant grows. We got, you know what I'm we, we have uh, mangoes just growing up and we didn't plant them. Yeah, they just bite the seed and just <laughs> throw it and, throw and it it'll grow. It grows. Yep, so cashew trees, macadamia nut trees, um, ghetto tubar, oh. just... They said it wouldn't grow, and I was like, wow, you know? <laughs> so it's a good thing I didn't listen to them people yeah. because, yeah. you know. Um, yes, sir, uh, we, we talked to uh, Hudiman from the... Uh, we talked to the guy from uh, uh, Team Concept Builders. Yeah, Prince okay, Paul. Prince Paul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he come to, he come to, yeah, so we, we contacted him and uh, it was a really nice guy. Really yeah, nice guy. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah. And uh, he really knows his stuff. So, uh, yeah, but... Um, and he's out here in Niger uh, He's a Nigerian, but he's out here in uh, Gunju too, right? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. stays out here in Gunju too. I'm not sure where, where he lives. He, we didn't uh, discuss, maybe. <laughs> but uh, we, okay. did, uh, we did talk uh, to him. Uh, uh, not not, uh, not Gunju, I'm sorry, Sipo. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he uh, was a really, really nice guy. And um, yeah. He, uh, yeah, he told us he told us a lot about uh, uh, like uh, uh, the differences construction and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, it's really his expertise. Yeah, that's true. That's really true. great. Yes. And 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 uh, and 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 but uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of uh, kind of the thing because he he had he had some contacts and uh, then uh, he would ask around. But maybe this also a question to you guys is uh, yeah, do you maybe uh, know like what the best places are to buy land, like uh, generally speaking? Yeah, but see that depends on your preference because a lot of people say oh we want to build it, we want to buy some land and sit again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? <laughs> the price is gonna be so much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I said, don't buy it in the Gambia. Look at buying out into the village and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the land is a little bit uh, Cheap. cheaper and stuff. Yeah. And you get to deal directly with the yes. owner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we do. When people are buying land, yeah. we link them up directly with the owner. Mm -hmm. We don't come in as a middleman yeah. that try to say, okay, I'm gonna take the price this high, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, tell you. We don't want anything. Yeah. We're just going to come from our heart and yeah. send and, you to that and, person. And send you to that person. Yeah. And whatever y'all yes. develop, that's between y'all and stuff. And, but, uh, but we got uh, uh, C4 is great. Kitty is great. Kitty is great. Uh, Gunju is great. Is great. Mm -hmm. um, what's the now, other? we haven't ventured out in Kartong. That's the yeah. last one before you jump into Senegal. Mm -hmm. now, now, right here is a, a unique spot because right across there is Senegal. Mm -hmm. And you Possibly. can walk across there, swim across there, boat across there anytime you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's a plus yeah. being out here in this area. Yeah. You know what and, I'm saying? And I think C four has a lot still. And it's growing. It's, it's yeah. big here. And yeah. there's a lot of plots here still. Yeah. And it's in growing. C4 and all over. Even yeah. Gonjur. Mm -hmm. Even you got Sanyang. Sanyang is nice, but they, so the they're bringing it up now. Yes. Yes. Everybody yeah, wants yeah. to go there, yeah. so yeah, yeah. It's, and it's pretty nice too. It's a bit expensive now because of, uh, the thing is that uh, the um, these um, black um, black people live in Europe. A lot of people yeah. buy a land in Sanyang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's a um, nice area. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice area. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, the, it's a bit pricey nice up area. now. Yeah. 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 yeah, the price is getting. Yeah. Price now, yeah. yeah, because true. Yeah. even one of my boy also, um, he have a lot of these um black babies, the friends of black babies. They buy a plot, a lot of plots of land in between Sanyang and how to call it Kachume. Mm -hmm. You know Kachume? No, yes. I don't know, but I know Sanyang. Yeah, though. around that. Yeah, Kachume is where um where they used to take these sons. Yeah. 
Oh, that's okay. Like, yeah. yeah, okay, that's it, yeah, yeah, okay. If you go up to Gunju and then... Ben. Mm -hmm, right. You know, yes, I know now. Okay. Okay. Before Samboya or something like that. Samboya, exactly. Yeah, before yeah. that. Yeah, okay. no, after Samboya. After, after, yes. Oh, after Samboya, okay. you have it. You and it's right okay, before then. you get to Ganju okay. and exactly. all of that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. At that end, you know, because last time I went there, you know, with my friends, you know, a lot of uh, these black black business there by Elan there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. raising the price up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if I not forget that uh, they used to sell these twenty by twenty around that time, uh, I think three hundred and fifty or three hundred dollar. Uh, twenty wow. by twenty. How much? Three. Twenty by twenty, three hundred and fifty or three hundred around that. Three hundred and fifty? Yes. The last three hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Yeah. Well let me see how much that is in dollars because I'm like <laughs> That's about six thousand. Oh my god, that's seven, seven. Yeah. We rich. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they done pushed it up. They really pushed it up. Because you used to can get like a, a 25 by 20 or something like that. We're not here what it's no going for now. Thousand. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's up now. It is going up. We didn't pay that. So anyway. You ain't got to let it right now. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. You know what caused that? You know, the land issue in Gambia, you know, every now is increasing. Uh-huh. Because people coming in yeah, now. Yeah, because yeah. if you think about it, if you go to Shivo here also, there's a build, uh, building called Taf Construction. Yes. Yeah. And then if you think about where the Taf have been built here, so Taf will buy a lot. A lot of plots. That's right.